Hello, my name is Kevin Mercado. I am the lead educator for Bronx Works. I am presenting the Stellar Farmers Market Curriculum for the Nutrition Education Capacity Program. Before starting, you should wash your hands for 20 seconds and use warm water and a bit of soap and lather and rinse between your fingers, fingernails, and scrub as much as you can to get the germs away. You should be washing your hands for at least 20 seconds. As you can see, I am, here, I am washing my hands and getting in between my fingers and also cleaning my wrists as well. And then you, I am scrubbing my finger, fingertips against my palms to get underneath my fingernails. Before I started, I put soap with water and got a towel to scrub in circular motions to clean the surface of my table in which I would be cutting the vegetables. I decided to use the table to chop up all my ingredients. Um, you can use a cutting board if that is easier for you. Just make sure that you have it rinsed and cleaned and no resi no soap residue so that it does not go into your food. This is today's recipe, fruit and spinach salad. The ingredients that you'll need for today's recipe are spinach, uh, strawberries, which is optional. You can use alternative fruits, uh, one cup of raisins, uh, some type of oil like vegetable oil, olive oil, coconut oil, one tablespoon of lemon juice. I use lime juice so that's another alternative and then salt and pepper for taste. For today's recipe I will be making a fruit and spinach salad. As you can see I am washing my spinach underneath cold water and rinse well to remove all the dirt. I am now draining the water from the spinach. Here are some key points about spinach. For the best buy, choose spinach with crisp dark green leaves. To prepare, put leaves in a bowl of cold water and rinse well to remove all the dirt. To keep fresh, place in a plastic bag and refrigerate for three to seven days. Spinach contains, contains vitamin A, which is good for healthy eyes and skin. Here are some quick tips. Add raw spinach to soups or homemade smoothies. Add cooked spinach to rice and pasta dishes. Add raw spinach to lettuce salads for extra nutrients and flavor. Cooking is family time. Kids can place spinach leaves in a bowl of water and move them around to remove dirt. Tear spinach leaves carefully to add soups or homemade smoothies. The first step for this recipe is to cut the stems of the spinach and just leave the leaf part. Um, as you can see, showing you the stem of the spinach and just cutting straight through it because for this recipe all you really need are the leaf so you'll need four cups of fresh spinach stems removed and torn sometimes it's easier with just your hands to tear off the stems if you get a whole bunch together and just rip it off or you can use a knife to remove the stem as well. And 
I ripped a stem off, just showing you that you can do it with your fingers. Now that I have at least four cups of spinach, I put the spinach in a large bowl. As you can see, getting every single piece of spinach. For this recipe, I did not use strawberries. Um, you can use any type of fruit that you have available. Um, for this recipe, it includes one cup of raisins. Luckily, I had some raisins at home but it's also optional. You don't have to put raisins if you don't want to, but it is a fruit salad, so it does give it a sweet taste, adding raisins to this salad. And then you're supposed to toss the salad together. I found it easier just to use my hands and mix the raisins and spinach together. Wash your fruit under warm water. As I mentioned, for this recipe, uh, you can use strawberries or any fruit. It is a fruit and spinach salad. And technically, uh, tomato is a fruit. So I use this tomato just because that's what I had available for this salad. I cut the tomato in half and then I started cutting the tomato in slices. I didn't cut too small of, of pieces because I do like tomatoes. I added the tomatoes and the spinach with the raisins. I mixed it with my hands. It was It's probably easier to get a top for the large bowl and then mix. Um, I didn't realize that until after I made the salad. The next part is making the, the dressing for your fruit and spinach salad. So you need one tablespoon of lemon juice. I didn't have lemon, so I used the lime instead. I found a good technique to cut the lime where vertically and then make a few cuts inside the lime so that all the juices would be easier to squeeze out. Just be careful. And then you'll need two tablespoons of oil. I use olive oil. As you can see, a lot of juice came out with that technique of making cuts inside of the lime and then squeezing. Then the next part is adding salt and pepper to taste. So that just depends on how much you want to add to your, your dressing. I added about two table, uh, teaspoons and then a little bit of black pepper. And then afterward, I mixed it with a spoon. Now I pour the dressing into my salad and then refrigerate if needed, or you can eat as is. Just make sure you mix the dressing and it's all coated throughout the salad so that you can have that flavor from the dressing. 
This time I used a spoon just so I didn't use my hand because it would have been really messy. And this is the end result of the fruit and spinach salad. Remember to stop by from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. every Thursday to shop locally and get your fresh fruits and vegetables so you can make these healthy recipes at home. When you stop by, remember to go to the outreach table so that you can watch these virtual videos and receive health bucks so that you can use it at the farm stand. We accept cash, debit, credit, FMNP coupons, health bucks, and EBT or SNAP as well. If you haven't already seen the cooking recipe videos, check them out and remember to like and comment below. Hope you join us next time. Bye.